Welcome to Brooklands, it's Auto Italia 2011. How many cars are we expecting today? 750 to 1,000. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so at the moment it's still quite early. It We've is. only got a very short queue. Yep. What time should everyone be getting here? Well, they ought to be getting here now. Now? Fairly soon, yes. And what's the time? Because it's just coming up to half past eight. Yep. Um, it's going to get. It's going to be a queue out of here probably, if we can't control it, right as far as I can see and probably onto the main road. Can't get across the bridge, they're repairing the bridge at the moment. So oh, I'm right. sending them to overtake. You're looking very busy. I am busy. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, well, well, we're trying to sort all the different types of uh, Italian cars into the different categories. Okay. And uh, you can see that they all come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. And they all have their own ideas on where they're going to park. Yeah. So our idea is to sort them out, get them in the right categories, get them parked where they should be. Okay, brilliant. Enjoy. Field quick yeah. words, you're the main man of the day, has preparations? Uh, pretty good, you know, we've had 25 years of practice, so, you know, we, we know pretty well how to put it all together, but uh, uh, I think it's going to be a big one today, we had 5,000 people in last year, so we're hoping to match that, and certainly with the weather, we'll probably, you know, get a few more, but, uh, but it's pretty busy. <laughs> it is, okay, we'll let you go, rushing around on your bike, see you all soon. Right. Okay, thanks. You're looking after this uh, stage three yellow 458 stage Italia. Three. Yes, yeah, this is uh, one of our safety cars today. This will go in front of the cars on Mercedes-Benz World Track. So for the track day, so this is going to lead from the front? Very much so, and the orange Lamborghini there will also lead uh, some of the other field as well. So we've got two safety cars, but this is the, the key car really today. Uh, it's 1966 Alloy Strada, roughly 60 built. Uh, I bought it from Briggs Cunningham, San Diego, California, who was very well known for historic race cars in the 40s, 50s, 60s, raced his own Cunningham cars at Le Mans, also C types and D types at Le Mans. Uh, he had it for 20 years. <coughs> bought it from him, I had it for 25 years. Yeah. And uh, is to die for. Today we've got a 430 Scud Berlinetta, we've got the 16M which was built to celebrate the 2008 16th World Constructors Championship win and we've got a 458 Italia. Now the 458 Italia, that's the newest part of the collection? That's the newest part of the collection, yeah, that's only a few months old. Is he enjoying it? And you enjoying it? Can't get him out of it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I've tried crowbars and everything and he won't move, he's glued to it. Right, so you're controlling this off um, an Xbox controller? That's right, that's right. Tell us how it works. <laughs> it's just literally a switch for up and a switch for down. One for the front, one for the back. We run off hydraulics. When did you get it done? Uh, about nine months ago. Yeah. Mm. You're obviously enjoying it. You are entertaining <laughs> the crowd. There's probably about 60, 70 people watching you bouncing up and down. It does get, it, it's, it's not something you see every day, I suppose. No, I mean, if you were down like a little country lane bouncing up and down, the police would probably think you're up to something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're just playing with your, playing bit, with yeah. your Xbox controller. <laughs> Enjoying Auto Italia? I'm having a great time, thanks very much, yeah. What have you brought with you today? Uh, my son. 
your actually, son. who I've lost. You've lost your son. But you, you didn't mean that, though, did you? You meant car. I meant your car. <laughs> I meant your car. I actually bought my um, Audi A6. Okay. Sorry. In an Italian day. That's all right. <laughs> That's Italians, all Germans, we'll get on. But maybe I'll go home with something else. What a different child. <laughs> Where, okay, so you've lost your son. Yeah. Do you know there's a man who's got a loudspeaker? Over there. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go and have a word. Yeah, because it's all quite child friendly. Although, all the kids are safe at Alta Italia. Although, actually, I'm enjoying the freedom quite a lot. <laughs> Cedric, the only way we're going to get you on camera, Team Cedric, here he is. You enjoy yourself? Absolutely, mate, absolutely. What's been your highlight of the day? Uh, the girls with the mini skirts. You're going backwards. <laughs> the girls with <laughs> the mini skirts. Why well, haven't you got one in your passenger seat? I haven't. Too old for that. <laughs> Okay, I understand you are possibly interested in buying this beautiful 355 Spider. Yes, I am. What is stopping you from buying it? Well, I already have one Ferrari and uh, it's a question of do I want to sell the one I've got and switch to this. What have you got at the moment? A 456M. Okay, so this is more sporty. Yeah. You've got the soft top for the summer. Yep. You can't go wrong with that, can you? That's why I'm thinking about this it. This is depreciation proof. Your 456 isn't. True. I think you're onto a winner. Oh, but I love the V12. V12, but this is the V8. 3.5 sounds awesome. It will sound better than your 456. You're quite sure you don't work for a I'm on 10% commission. Okay. We've got an Alfa Romeo 8C Spider, which is um, one of 500 cars that Alfa's produced. Uh, they've produced. Um, a 500 AC Competiziones, which is the fixed head car, and then this is the drop head car, which they call the 8C Spider. Um, so these cars, it's actually is no longer in production. It was produced in a limited edition run um, from 2008 through to 2010 for the fixed heads and the, and the spiders. And uh, this car is uh, is actually with our dealership, which is HWM Alfa Romeo and Walton on Thames, and is for sale. So this is the last unregistered car that's for sale in the UK. Um, so we're really privileged to have it here today and it's been a great, um, a great magnet for the um, Alfa Romeo enthusiasts uh, who are here today. It's Mario Marco! <laughs> How's it going? You're I'm alright, right. you enjoyed right. Auto Italia? It's been awesome, nice sunny day, top stuff. Yeah. Top down all the way? Totally, I even put the tonneau cover on, look at this, how I know. smart is that? You are looking very smart today. <laughs> Uh, how long is it going to take to get home? Oh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, minutes, yeah. Should be an hour, but it's going to take 20. <laughs> now, the other thing to remember is that once the activity actually starts, then we will not allow anybody to cross from one side to the other. Terry, what have you brought with you okay. today? Well, I bought this Ferrari 250 GT short wheelbase CFAC. It's got a bit of history, I understand. Yes, it's the only right-hand drive CFAC hot rod short wheelbase of this year. It was driven by Sterling Moss, Graham Hill. Everybody knows it from Sterling Moss at Goodwood winning the TT, but it also ran at Daytona with Graham Hill and a few other events as well. Always a winner, and it's just been rebuilt well, I say just, about a year ago, it's just had a two-year restoration at the Ferrari factory. Uh, went right the way through it, every nut and bolt from front to the rear. Beautiful car, very valuable car. Okay, it's a 1955 Lancia Aurelia Spider, uh, and uh, it's one of about 200 made, and it has um, just recently emerged from a six-year restoration. 
Oh, okay. Mm. And how long have you had it? Uh, about eight years. About eight years, yeah. What engines so, are it running? So it's got a 2.5 litre V6, so that's the first production V6 engine, and a four speed transaxle. And uh, it's, you know, for its time, a very uh, technologically sophisticated car. Right, Leslie, you brought your Uraco with you. I have indeed. Now, how long have you had this? But it's four years, six months. Now, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, so you, you've had it since you were a teenager? Yep, got it two weeks before my 19th birthday. Did you have any trouble getting insured on it? Uh, I'm still not insured on it, actually, so believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're still not insured on this car? Yeah, that's true. What's, what's happening? Well, basically, it's going to cost me around about £6,000 to get insured on it. So the amount of work that I've done, um, spent about £50,000 restoring it. So at the moment, my mum gets the driver at the moment. So I'm working on getting the insurance somehow. Is there not a company out there that can insure Leslie on his Lamborghini Uraco? Well, we've been searching through, <coughs> meticulously through, but still can't seem to find any insurance company out there. So if there's an insurance company out there that can help me, <laughs> please get in contact. Mark, tell us about your Lamborghini Countach. Um, I've owned it uh, 13 years. Um, it wasn't a perler when I bought it. I've had it uh, totally restored, bare metal repaint two years ago. Um, numerous services. Uh, just basically anything you can see that makes it look nice I've had done basically um, it's um, a bit of a labour of love to be honest but uh, a joy to own really is a joy to own so we saw you in the Ferrari Enzo uh, poodling around the track Yes, I was invited, uh, the uh, organiser for Brooklands came over to me and said, would you like to go around the Mercedes-Benz track? My girlfriend's a driver at Mercedes-Benz World, so I kind of thought, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So we uh, got our bands, we had our brief, telling us we can't do this and we can't do that, and if we had an accident, stay in the car because my spine might be hurt and all this kind of stuff, which was really good. All right, so stuff <laughs> yeah. that you didn't yeah, know before, exactly, yeah? exactly, stuff that I'd never come across right. before. And um, yeah, so we had a poodle round. You had a real poodle round. The, the, well, the guy behind the camera is telling me I was driving like a cat how slow how slow were you going <laughs> well I, think I got up to 100 down the straight which i didn't think was too bad considering all the gravel on the wet circle you couldn't really give it any until you you went 100 so you got into second or I, third yeah second changed up to third yeah yeah oh, how Hope you enjoyed Auto Italia 2011, my head's red so we're off.